Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll make a simple slotted M10 nut in AutoCAD 3D. So for making this nut, make sure you're in the 3D modeling workspace. So I'm in 3D modeling workspace right now. If you're not, then switch from this workspace switching dropdown. You can also switch your workspace from this gear icon on the status bar. Now, once you're in 3D modeling workspace, go to this draw panel and select polygon command. Now specify number of sides as six because we are going to make a hexagon nut and click at a point for the center of this nut. Now select circumscribed about a circle from command line and enter a radius of 8.5 units. So let's type 8.5 and press enter. And here we have the hexagon. We don't need this coordinate on the screen right now. So let's hide it for now. You see us. And now let's move to this circle command on draw panel. Now click at the center of this polygon. So here is the geometric center. If you're not able to see this geometric center snap, then go to this status bar, click on the small arrow and turn on this geometric center. Alternatively, you can also track this midpoint and this point on the end to find out the geometric center. Now, once you are on geometric center, click and make a new circle with a radius of 4.7 units. So let's type 4.7 and press enter. Now we have both of these geometries. So we'll convert it into 3D now. For that, click on this home icon. And from modeling panel, select this press pull command. Click inside both of these geometries and enter a height of 12 units, press enter. And press enter again to exit this command. Now, once again, go to this circle command. And this time, make sure that you click center of this top circle. Now click here. And once again, make a circle with diameter of 17 units. So for that, click on this diameter and now enter 17 and press enter. Now click on this front view of view cube and we'll change coordinates now. So for that, go to this coordinates panel and from this fly out, select this view. Now currently X, Y plane will be the plane which is present right now. So now we'll make a geometry for that. Go to draw panel, select this line and click anywhere in the drawing area and make a line with an angle of 210 degrees for that type this angle symbol, which is right beside the M key on your keyboard and enter an angle of 210 degrees. This will make a line inclined to an angle of 210 degrees. Now here is the line and click anywhere to make this line. So you don't need to be very specific about the length of this line. Now go to this object snap and turn on this quadrant snap as well. And after turning it on, click on this home icon and select this line. Now click on this move command, click on this top point and move it close to the quadrant of the circle. So right now I'm not able to select the quadrant just because of our UCS for that. Let's press escape key for now. Let's zoom out and click on this home icon first. So for this, click on this UCS world icon and once again, repeat the process. So select the line, click on move command, select this top point and now move it to this quadrant. And now you'll be able to see the quadrant of the circle. Let's click here and the quadrant is now selected. Let's click on this front view. And now we need to make a mirror image of this line. For that, we can again make use of UCS. But before that, let's first increase the length of this line. So let's click on this coordinates panel and from this fly out, select this view and then click on this line. Now click on this grip and extend this line upwards a little bit and press escape key. Now select this line and from this modify panel, select this mirror command and click at any two points on this nut. So I'll click on these two points and press enter to have the mirror image of this line. Let's zoom out and click on this home icon. Now we'll make a surface from both of these geometries. For that, go to this modeling panel and click on this fly out and select revolve. Now select this line and also this line and press enter. Now we need to specify the axis of revolution for that. Click on this top center point and then click on this bottom center point and the axis is now defined. Let's press enter 
to accept the default value of 360 degrees. Right now your drawing may seem very messed up because of wireframe visual style. So let's change the visual style from this view panel and change it to shaded. Now it's clear. So all we need to do is subtract the part of this geometry. For that let's go to the slice command and click on this nut. So make sure that you are clicking inside this circle in order to select only the nut. And now press enter. Now from the command line select this surface option and click on this top surface and press enter again. Now we have sliced this geometry into two different parts. Let's select the surface and let's select this top part from the corner. Make sure you are clicking at the corner of this nut and right click and select erase and you can see that the part is now removed. Repeat the process for this bottom part as well. For that go to slice command, select this nut and press enter. Select surface and this time select this surface and press enter again and select this one. Orbit your geometry and select the bottom part which you want to remove and click on erase and we have removed all of these geometries now let's erase all of these 2d geometries as well from our drawing so we don't need them so select and erase all of these 2d geometries you can also select this circle which is on the top so let's orbit this and let's select it and then select and erase it so now we have a clean geometry. Now we can add the slot to this nut. For adding a slot, first click on this home icon to get the default view of this nut. And after that, click on any view. So I'll first click on this left view. So it's not the appropriate views. Let's click on this home icon again and select this front view. And now here we have the correct view. Let's right click on this view cube and select parallel. Now when you have this kind of view in which you have these three faces visible then go to the coordinate panel again from this flyout select view and once again make a 2D geometry for that go to this line command and make a line with length of 3 units on this side then move it downwards and enter a length of 4 units and press enter. Now track this point and move it downwards and click here to complete this geometry. Now go to arc. From this flyout, select this center start and arc. Now click at the center point of this bottom line and from this select this left point and then select this right point. Now click on this line and erase it. Now select the complete geometry and from this modify panel select join. So this will join it into a single unit. Now click on this home icon and move this geometry to the center of this nut. For that select this polyline, click on this move command, click on this center point of this top line and move it to the center here. Now we will use extrude command to make a 3D out of this geometry. For that go to this flyout and select extrude and select this geometry and press enter. Now extrude it in any direction and we are not concerned about the length so you can make it of any length so let's click here now select this geometry and using this gizmo move it so that it passes completely from both the sides in this way now we will make a polar array of this for that select this geometry and from this modify panel select this flyout and select polar array and click on axis of rotation now we need to specify the axis. So in this case you can see that the vertical axis is Y which is this green axis. We can select Y axis, we can type Y and press enter or we can also specify two points on this geometry. So I'll specify the two points to make it more clear to you. So let's click on this center point and then move our cursor directly upwards or directly downwards so that the second point is visible. So here's the second center. Let's click and here we have this array geometry. Now from this items panel select 3 and press tab and now click on this close array to close it. Now we need to subtract this geometry from the original nut. For that go to the subtract 
command from this solid editing panel and select this nut and now press enter now select all of these three geometries which we made and press enter again and here we have this final m10 slotted nut so here is this nut and you can apply a rendering to this nut and in your 2d drawing you can also mention the threads which are inside this nut so this was all about making a m10 slotted nut in autocad if you have questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching